Hello, so in this video let's put legend text notes schedules to the sheets. Okay, so let's go back to our sheets and let's go to uh, maybe architecture view, a simple version. And in this case I want to put a ball shadows. So let's put first uh, architecture wall shadow. So wall shadow for my architecture walls. So from here it depends uh, what kind of wall I am inserting and if it has a lot of descriptive material or descriptions. So like in this case a uh, shadow can look uh, massively large and it's recommended to to put uh, less information so sometimes it's important to download uh, correct construction materials and other parts for your project and let's insert uh, wall materials and wall shadow uh, so in this case let's leave the shadow like it's in this position and let's change uh, and create a A2 format of my sheet so in this position let's put this one and 297 multiply by 2 okay and let's say my wall shadow now it looks massive okay so in here I put my wall materials so I can see what kind of wall materials I'm using uh, volume of all the wall materials and two different type of walls is in my project uh, so they are represented here by different uh, materials uh, and I have my type marks so mark type mark wall 01 wall 01 is represented here so next I can also in the wall material section put additional parameters so I can see maybe type mark in the footer area okay maybe this let's use material name here you valid declarated by Rakul. Okay, let's use just you valid. And this should be a type mark. Now I see wall one, wall two, and it gives me this information. So this is wall one and wall type two so different combinations i can make and combine and the same numbers wall one six nine zero seven and wall one if i have volume i should see the same volume here but in this case i just have thickness and and then area of this wall so I can make different combinations. Next part, let's put some text notes. So let's go to annotate and select text. And let's put text in here. Notes, I will use list number and
so I can give some guidance to if I want to see my structure walls I can go to sheets uh, BS drawings and I can find my sheets in this location and additional component with I which I can put also I can put 3d model so I can create duplication 3d and let's use this one zero one and in 3d it's recommended to look from the same point you can uh, lock the orientation if you want to tag some objects I don't need levels so I can hide and I can uh, make a section box and I can uh, crop it a little bit here and I can leave it in different visualized style consistent colors shaded with shadows or just uh, black and white and and uh, if I want I also can hide this element and it looks much cleaner and also I can tag my objects like walls columns maybe doors windows and it gives me like a nice uh, plan view of my project so I can go back and I can put this view in in let's say this location and let's take some information and put it inside the structure wall so the same problem we have here also structure so let's change this to a2 format and let's give information so in this case I see on the structure part so I can just make this okay maybe this part not but let's say this part larger so my table looks like a continuous table and also in here I can put some text notes or I can copy notes from the drawing which I created earlier copy building architecture drawings okay and let's create 3d model for this walls let's make the location so in this case building architecture model and this will be building structure model so in here I want to see only structure components so I select structure and of course I would like to turn off all other parts and just leave walls columns uh, maybe some stairs so for these modifications if you have several views it's better to have template for for such views and you just can save a, a lot of time uh, making these changes and you can just create one template and save time now it looks much more
compact. Also, I can lock only the parts and I can select only the parts which has structure material so I can select parts which doesn't have structure material material and I can hide these elements from here I can do it by hand or I can create some filters filters uh, and also I can uh, save a lot of time using filters but in this examples I can do it by hand and let's tag so I have my building structure 3D model. And let's remember we created some legends, so I can put these legends also here. And legend, legend columns. No line, okay. And also the same legends. Let's put in other view. And of course, if you have uh, less space or smaller sheet, you should divide and create uh, more sheets. And in each sheet, you can uh, upload, insert different components of your project. You can create sheets for shadows, you can create sheets for views, plan views, you can create sheets for 3D models. Uh, but if you have a lot of sheets, it is very important to put uh, uh, correct notes so you can uh, understand which information is in which sheet and uh, you should be able to uh, see information. Let's say I want to see 3D model, so to which sheet I need to go to see 3D model. If I want to see shadows, so which sheet I should open to see shadows or legends or other stuff. So. This part is important and you need to pay attention and choose wisely. Will you put everything in big sheet format or you will put in smaller sheet format? Uh, the most common and easiest sheet format to use in building structures is A3 format. A lot of copy machines are working with such formats. The larger formats than A3, A2, A1, A0. Uh, they are more complicated to manage with copy machines, but in new buildings and in new concept of buildings, uh, sometimes printed sheets are not used and all the sheets are in digital format, in tablets, in phones. So this problem with uh, sheet size it's not so important and you can, I think, use any sheet size, but it also depends from uh, country regulations. Do they accept only paper or digital sheets in the building site?